Hey everyone, I'm Tom from Made by Loop and in this After Effects tutorial I'm going to run through how to create an isometric camera view in After Effects. Now I'm going to run through two ways to create an isometric camera. I'm going to show you how to do things manually and I'm also going to show you the super quick way using the Loop Angle script which does all of the hard work for you. So make sure you watch until the end to see both in action. So to get started I have a composition set up here with a background layer and the loop logo layer here. And the first thing I'm going to do is set the logo to be a 3D layer. I'm going to keep the background layer as a 2D layer and it will become apparent why pretty soon. So I have my 3D layer set up and the next thing to do is to add a camera. So I'll choose layer, new, camera. And in the preset drop down, you can select 35 millimeter. Now the standard options here are fine the only value we need to change on this screen is the angle of the view and we'll change that to a very specific number, it's 21.7371. Oh, and we'll change the name as well to isometric camera. Okay, so with our new camera added, we also need to add a new null object. So I'll choose layer, new, null object. And I'll call this isometric camera control. The next thing I'll do is make this null object 3D and with that sorted what we'll do is parent the camera to this null object. So what this means is that we can now use this null object to control the position and the movement of the camera and this is a pretty useful tip in general. Whenever I'm working with cameras in After Effects I'll always use a control null like this because it makes creating camera movements a whole lot easier. Anyways that's a topic for another video so let's get back to the isometric view. So now we've got our isometric camera linked to our control null, but we need to get the actual isometric view on the go. So to get this, what we need to do is one last thing. The final step is to select the null object and hit R on the keyboard to bring up the rotation values. And for each of these X, Y and Z values, what we're going to do is put the same number, 35.264. So I'll just copy it over to the others. And there we go, you can now see that the view has changed and our logo is now being seen from an isometric view. And because we've kept our background as a 2D layer, it means that we have this nice infinite background to work with too. If I change this layer to a 3D layer, it's picked up by the camera and it goes into the isometric view. So keeping things as 2D means that we can have a solid background to work with, which is pretty nice. So there we are, that's how to create an isometric camera view in After Effects. Now, there's a few steps to that and there's some really specific values that you need to remember. So to make things easier, I developed the angle script, which basically does all of the hard work for you. So if we start again in this composition, you can see that I have the 3D logo layer and the background again. Only this time, instead of doing everything manually, I'm going to come up here to the angle script panel. I'll choose isometric camera from the drop down and I'll hit the add camera button. And there you can see that within seconds, the script has done all of the hard work for you. We have the null object and the camera all set up and we don't have to remember any of the values. The angle script also has some additional camera angles as well. It's not just isometric views. So if you wanted a front facing camera or a left facing camera, all you need to do is select these and press the add camera button. So you can see how the angle script is a real time saver when it comes to creating isometric camera views. If you're interested in buying the script, check the link in the description or head on over to madebyloop.co.uk to find out more. And if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more After Effects tips.